everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And a couple of months ago, we took a look at this brand new Proton Pack body kit, otherwise known as a Proton Pack shell, made by our friends over at Max Factory. And if you missed that video, well, of course, we have a link to it right down below in the description. But in it, we gave fellow Ghostbuster fans their very first look at these definitive Proton Pack parts, once again made by Max Factory. And when I say definitive, I mean definitive, as this idealized Proton Pack body kit, for example, was first captured from the original Hero Props straight from the Sony Pictures Entertainment Archives. Now, Max Factory is going to be your source for 100% officially licensed Proton Pack parts and keeping that in mind of course they've just added some brand new items on top of their proton pack body kit and that includes all the knobs for the neutrino wand as well as also the neutrino wand side discs so let's go ahead let's not waste any time and let's start tearing into these bags here today all right guys welcome to the build table here and today there's actually not too much we can build here today uh, mainly because with these pieces we actually need the main Neutrono One body to attach them to. So really, it's gonna be more so like a once over here today. I mean, there is a small build that we're gonna be able to do with the side discs, or as the instruction manual refers to them as, the Stream Amplitude Adjustment Knob Kit. And then speaking of knobs, we're also gonna be taking a look at the Arc Suppression Trim Knob Kit, otherwise known as the Side Knob. Uh, from there, we've got ourselves the Stop Check Valve Knob Kit, otherwise known as the Front Knob. And then last but not least, we've got the Stream Intensity Knob Kit, known as the top knob. But let's go ahead and move the knob kits a little, you know, off, off to the side here, and let's first focus in on the side discs. All right, so let's get our hands in on these, and ooh, actually first impressions here, these have a, a coldness to them, wow. That's because these are actually made of a uh, machined aluminum. And another thing that I really love about all the Max Factory pieces, I mean, you can see it right there, all the, uh, the black pieces on the Proton Pack and on the Neutrono Wand, they are black here. Each individual part has a black anodized finish. And what that means is that you never actually have to paint these pieces if you don't want to, which is a huge, huge plus for the novice prop builder out there. Like honestly, this Max Factory build, it is just you put it together and, and that's it. If you don't want to paint it, you don't have to paint it. And it still looks amazing. Another great thing with this kit is you're gonna see that every part that you buy comes with all the pieces that you need. Obviously, we got the actual pieces of the prop here. We got like the small discs and actually two sets of top discs. And we're gonna touch on that right here in a second. But you also see we get like all the screws there and like all the hardware to kind of get everything in place. Once again, making this a perfect, perfect build for that novice prop builder out there. It comes with everything you need. Turning the side discs around, you'll also see that there are copyrights here. Once again, being that all these pieces are 100% licensed. But don't worry about the copyrights when you actually build your Neutrono One, they're all gonna be well hidden. Now shifting gears over to the instruction manual here. I love the first page here actually. Uh, they mentioned the actual knob installation. And the great thing with these Max Factory pieces is they are of course totally compatible with all other you know, Max Factory parts. But on top of that, they will work with pretty much any other metal or resin build. And they even tell you how big of holes you need to drill if you do want to uh, you know, attach the Max Factory pieces to an already pre-existing build that you're doing at home. Another really cool little bit of detail here is that this actually comes with two different uh, knobs for the, uh, the side discs. There's upper crank knobs that have a really smooth finish as you can see on the left side of your screen right now. And then there is also uh, upper crank knobs that have a knurled finish to them. And I'm pretty sure in the original film, the upper crank knobs were smooth and in Ghostbusters 2, that's where you have that kind of like knurled look to them. It's really cool that they included those. I think I'm gonna go with the smooth design, but at the same time, ooh, that texture effect does look really, really nice. I, I don't know. All right, so right here, we've got knob installation and you'll see here it says medium screws for use with the metal bodies, large screws to be used with the, uh, the resin bodies here. So the fact that we're gonna be using the Max Factory Neutrino Wand, uh, actual like the, 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 the kit, the shell, whatever you wanna call it, they're the main body when we eventually get it, that's gonna be made of metal. Uh, so because of that, let's go ahead and use the, uh, the medium size screws. So let's grab the bottom disc here. Where is it? Uh, there it is. That's one of the medium screws. So we're gonna pop that in there first. And then from there, we are going to attach, what's this, one of these little guys. Yeah, the top section. Just tighten that up there and there we go. We've got ourselves a completed uh, side disc there for the new kernel one. All we really need right now, once again, is that uh, that Max Factory uh, Neutrono Wand body. Now, I actually made that one with the uh, the knurled uh, 
upper disc. Let me go ahead and actually go ahead and do another one with the, the smooth disc. All right, we got that all tightened in there, and wow. Those look so, so good. Whether or not you're starting out this Max Factory build or you just want to upgrade parts of your Neutrono One and Proton Pack, I, I cannot recommend this these parts enough there. Man, that, that does look really, really good. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the side discs here, there's not too much I can do outside of that, um, being that I don't actually have the, the actual other pieces for the wand. I do want to touch on, though, on the back end of the instructions, you're going to see uh, this little holographic sticker. And I touched on these holographic stickers back in the, uh, the Proton Pack body kit video. Now, if you build an entire Proton Pack and Neutrona wand using Max Factory parts, eventually you'll get your hands on a little card, and you're going to stick all these holographic stickers onto said card. Once that card is full, send it away to Max Factory, and then they're going to send you back a certificate of authenticity. And that'll mean that your Proton Pack is 100% licensed. Yes, you will have a licensed nuclear accelerator. All right, so let me go ahead and we'll move this out of the way here, and let's crack open all of the uh, the knob parts. Now, much like the side disc set that we have over here right now, you're gonna see that all the knobs do come with all the tools, all the screws, everything you need to actually install them and, uh, you know, get them on your Neutrono wand. And I really love the, uh, ooh, the feel and the quality of all these pieces. Uh, they are made of a, uh, a machined aluminum, but these guys come with a sandblasted finish. Now, first up here, we're going to focus in on the top knob, and I love the quality here. All the design work, the detail work on the sign is so clean, it's so crisp. And if you want to talk about clean and crisp, just look at the numbers that are on top of the knob here. I seriously cannot wait to get this installed on a Neutrono wand. From there, we will shift our attention over here to the side knob. Once again, really, really great finish here with this one. As I mentioned, all three of these parts do come with a sandblasted finish. And once again, I really just love that little bit of detail work there. You can see kind of like how clean that design is. And all that detail work that I'm gushing about certainly lends itself over to the front knob, as you can see here. Now, much like all the other Max Factory parts, uh, as I've already touched on when it came to the side discs here, uh, you'll also see there is the copywriting, and uh, they are, once again, well hidden here. You're never going to see the copyrights when they're on your actual Neutrono wand. The upcoming pieces, when it comes to the Proton Pack pieces, once again, all the copyrights are going to be well hidden, and uh, I do love the fact that they are, you know, on there. Once again, you know, licensed nuclear accelerator. Huh. Now, I think that's about all I can really talk about here today. Uh, we've got, you know, these pieces here. Once again, we got the screws, we got the tools. We already kind of did a very quick build of the side discs. But um, yeah, without that actual Neutrono One body, once again, there's not really too much we can do here today. But you guys out there, you have let your voices be heard. You want to see a Proton Pack build here on the Ghostbusters News channel. And you know what? I, I think I, I think I got to do that. I mean, just, just check out all these pieces. How, how can I not? And if you want to start your very own Proton Pack build, or like I've already mentioned before, if you are currently building or maybe you just have a completed Proton Pack and you want to actually upgrade some of the pieces, well, Max Factory, they've got you covered and we are going to include their link right down below in the description. Click it, head on over to maxfactory.com today and see what they have available. So far, I mean, I gotta admit, you're not gonna regret it. I love all of these pieces. I love that Proton Pack body kit we took a look at in our last video. And I honestly, truly believe that you'll be blown away by the quality here when you get them in hand. Now, after unbagging those pieces, I cannot wait to actually get into this build. I cannot wait until Max Factory makes their main like Neutrono One body available so I can actually start attaching those, uh, the side discs, the knobs, everything, you know, to the wand, and once again, start building my very own Ghostbusters Neutrono wand. And if you're like me and you want to start building, or maybe you already have a build you're currently doing, and you just want to get Max Factory pieces, as I've already mentioned, uh, all their pieces are totally compatible with all metal and resin builds. Be sure to click that link right down below in the description. Head on over to maxfactory.com and place your order today. Oh, and at the time of this recording, Max Factory also just added the front and back cylinders for the Neutrono one, so uh, don't miss out on these either. So guys, that does it for today. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, be sure to head on over to our Patreon page. A link to that can be found right down below in the description, and I'll see everybody right back here next time. Sandlot, mass stereo, full room and vapors are in your area. And these
skeletons can break your bones But I'm the writer now Ghosts, no bozos in the back of my ambulance Pulling out the firehouse, I will handle it Back off man, I'm a scientist And all this hardware I brought will fry them quick Because astral projections are quite ethereal And not what you want when you eat your cereal Accelerate protons, shorten streams Don't wanna get my face burnt up, go team Cause you're not alone Got a problem that needs solving Just pick up the phone They'll answer down